Hi there, I'm Black Bright broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for allowing me to enter into your space, into your world, into your home and on your phone. Anyway, um, I talk about a variety of subjects, even though I'm called Black Bright News. I don't just talk about news, although predominantly I talk about things that have happened in the news and I give it my own little spin on it. So today I want to talk about monkeypox. Who's heard of monkeypox and why do they call it monkeypox? The first thing I thought when I thought about monkeypox was, you know, a load of monkeys and you catch it from monkeys and is it synonymous with black people and all that kind of stuff? Is there some kind of serapetitious meaning underneath it? Why are they saying it's only coming from Africa? when they say it comes from rainforests and there are rainforests in Brazil, there's rainforests in China, in East Asia, there's rainforests in Brazil, there's rainforests in the tropics, there's rainforests everywhere. But not only do they call it monkeypox, but they also say that it comes from Africa, Prim primarily Africa, Central Africa and West Africa. So I just wanted to put that on the table, that that is what is happening. And we've had three um, three diagnoses of monkeypox in the UK out of 400. I think the 400 are in Africa somewhere. I don't really know because it didn't really give me much information. They said they found um, someone was diagnosed with it in um, Singapore. Um, and th and all three of them are meant to be meant to have been carried in by Nigerians. So that is the news. And also, when you think about how monkeypox came about, monkeypox came about in 1958 when some people in a lab started messing around with monkeys and experimenting with them and then they found out this thing called mon monkeypox which is what they've called it a bit like cowpox um cowpox is you know humans contract it from the cow's udder but it's an interference with humans and animals so at, someone's been messing around with animals and this is the result it might not be the result immediate result now but it's historically is a result of people messing around with animals in a way they should not be messing around with them. So let me just give you the technical term for monkeypox. Um, the last one, the most recent was in December, just a couple of weeks ago, the 3rd of December. Um, apparently there was somebody who's been diagnosed with it. And once again, a Nigerian is cited as being the person who's carried it into the country. Okay, so it's a double-stranded DNA zoonotic virus. Zoonotic means it's been mixed with humans and animals. Okay, and a species of the genus Orthofox virus. Goodness knows what that is. In a family of Pox viridae. They're, they're, they're kind, Pox viridae is the way that they're formed. It's the, the way when the virus gets into you, it comes out like lesions and it comes out like bumps and swelling and things like that. And, and is a family of the Pox viridae. The Pox viridae are kind of brick oval shaped viruses. I mean, all of that is technical, but I don't even know if it matters. I think... As long as you're not feeling flu-like symptoms um, combined with smallpox, that's the best way to describe what it feels like. The incubation period is from five days to 21 days. Apparently, you can't catch it from human to human. It has to be an interaction with animals. So somebody's been messing around with animals, and this is the result. You know, it might not happen when they mess around with it then, but it carries down, you know, and people walk around with it. You don't know who's got it. And it's a messy business. Humans are not supposed to be messing around with animals. Um, chances of infection are low. It occurs in Central and West African countries near rainforests. Um, two of infected traveled from Nigeria. Mild symptoms. One was picked up from a patient. Um, it spreads like any other virus, you know, coughing, sneezing, cuts, and all that kind of stuff. Um, 
It's called Money Pox in 1958. Crab eating monkeys were used as an experiment. They were laboratory tested animals. So the virus was first discovered in monkeys 1958 and in humans 1970. So you see, when you're fasting with what you're not supposed to be fasting with, this is the outcome. Between 1970 and 1986, that's 16 years, 400 human cases reported, but not sure what countries they were. Um, like I said, there was one outbreak in one diagnosis in Singapore, three in the UK, but I don't know where the rest of them are. Um, there's grisly photos going around of what it looks like, scabs, and they fall off after 14 days and goodness knows what else. Um, one minute, you know, depending on which newspaper you read, it's a rare infectious disease. And then on the other hand, when you read something a bit more official, it cannot be contracted by human to human. So we have to be careful of the scaremongering. We have to be careful of the imagery, the psychologic imagery of what um, what, what these what the media is trying to infiltrate. They're trying to send a message, very subtle message, and it doesn't mean that the um, information is not true, but it's the way it's presented. So um, just trying to clear up a few little so you don't get too concerned. You don't think, oh, my God, I'm talking to a Nigerian. I'm going to catch the monkeypox. I don't want you thinking like that. I don't want you thinking every time you see a black person, oh, I wonder if they got monkeypox. I don't want you thinking like that. You can't catch it like that. You cannot catch it human to human like that. And yes, in a sense, they kind of cordon off the people who are in it only because, I mean, one person caught it from a, a patient, but that is because they were very, I shouldn't say intimately, but, you know, with a nurse, with a health worker, they get more, um, with, they get mixed up with the blood, taking blood tests and that kind of stuff and saliva by taking all kinds of different tests. So it's very likely that's how that um, health care assistant caught it. But the other two, it was direct from whichever source they got it from. And like I said, anywhere where there's rainforests, that is where um, you can catch monkeypox. OK. Um, monkeypox is a rare viral infection that can be transmitted to humans from animals. It does not spread easily between people. Like I said, the media says it's a highly infectious disease, but, um, you know, that's why we have to be careful about what we listen to. Like I said, the incubation period is five to 21 days. Um, the symptoms, fever, headache, muscles, backache, swollen lymph nodes. And lymph nodes can be found in the neck, the collarbone, armpits, groin. Um, chills, you can get a rash. Um and the chain, the rash may turn into scabs and, you know, fall off eventually. I mean, monkeypox can be in severe in some cases. And like in any, you know, whether you have a flu, whether you have pneumonia or bronchitis, if it's extreme, of course, you can probably die from it. But, you know, we have to kind of put things into perspective and not become totally neurotic about it. Um, like I said, it can be found in rape where, anywhere where there's rainforest. So that's Central and West Africa, Brazil and Central America, Southeast Asia, Madagascar, Australia, India and the tropics. Um, so, yeah, I think I just want, I don't, I'm not going to belabor the point. I really just wanted you to have an idea because it will be coming on the news very soon as a part of this creating some kind of hype you know there's always hype there's always something now the kind of the um there's nothing to talk about with the elections now it's just same much more of the same they'll be looking for other kind of things to talk about that can create some kind of hype so this is why i wanted to put it in a little bit of perspective so you don't panic and um, you can feel pretty safe. OK, um, and that's all I think from now. For, that's all for now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's 
One, I didn't think I said that. It's one of the human orthopox viruses that includes variola. Variola is the one that causes smallpox. And then, of course, there's cowpox, which I mentioned, and the vaccina viruses. They're all part of the same thing. So monkey monkeypox falls into the same category as cowpox, variola, which is smallpox, and um, similar, similar, similar diseases. Um, chances of infection are low. Third case reported in the UK. And, yeah. I think that's about it. I'm not going to just drag it out for the sake of it. Have a wonderful day. It's freezing cold, but it's warm in the house, but I've got to go outside. So that's all. Bye bye.